Welcome back everyone, Drew here. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. I did a vlog yesterday and I accidentally um, <laughs> erased it and I was going to upload it today. But anyways, we'll get to the... As you can see from the title of this, yes, I'm doing German beer. A German beer. Um, I should do more German beers, uh, Denmark beers, and beers overseas. I should because, you know what, they need pleasure too. They need to be drunk and... Uh, why not? Why not uh, I review them for you? So if you feel like a German beer, then watch my show. Yeah, watch my show. Anyways, Monday, Monday afternoon. Book the day off. I uh, usually don't have any beers on Monday, but guess what? I'm off. So, yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, I'm doing Dab. Dormunder, Maybach. Maybach. 7% alcohol. Uh... A strong beer. This is half a liter. It's 500 mil. So, yeah, our overseas it's 500 mil. Here it's 473. Weird. I really don't understand. Their pint is bigger than our pint, which doesn't make sense. But it does. Okay. Anyways, Maybach translate to Maybach, and is in reference to the welcome transition from severe winter to springtime. In the Alps. All right. I see. I didn't know this. And I, 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 the regular dab, I'm not a big fan of. But gotta try something different. Uh, this Maybach uh, is well balanced with medium hops and aromas, a warm toast, biscuit, and wheat on a refreshing medium body palate. The finish is with a crisp and refreshing. And refreshing. That's it. Uh, 260 at the LCBO. I got this at the beer store. It was sitting by itself on the weekend. I was like, huh, didn't see that one before, so I grabbed it. Then I grabbed the last one at the beer store. Uh, it says expires 12 23 21. So we still have 10 months of freshness in this can. It was actually brewed September. 23 of 2020. 20. So, you know, four month old beer is not bad at all. Um, so, it's 3.18 L5 on, untapped, uh, with over 3,000 ratings. I guess this might be like a newer, a newer, let's see what the beer store says about, because re realistically, you know, I don't, they, they could be same thing. There's tradition of German Bach beer, a rich going color with well balanced hop flavors and aromas, followed by a bready malt taste and finished with a short, hot bite. I don't get no IBUs in this. No one's telling me nothing. But realistically, I went to the beer store and I saw this beautiful color green, and I bought it. I didn't even know where. I didn't even know I bought Dab till I just grabbed it out of the fridge. I just got this German beer. I didn't read it. I, I, to tell you the honest truth, I, I saw the color and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to try that. I've never had that one before. So, sometimes, a nice looking can. This beer can be crap. Who knows? All right, let's get into it. Uh, and all, I find that all German and Denmark beers and all their beers sort of taste like the same sometimes. But it's 7% alcohol, guys. 7%. I know it's going to be filtered. They usually have these filtered all the time. Like, it, I wish they would have a hazy one. That's a nice, clean looking. Well, I, I would say this is a lager. A little bit of malt. Um, breadiness, yeah. That's, that's all I'm getting out of it. So, nuggets. Oh yeah, chicken nuggets. Nuggets for lunch. Woohoo! All right, let's get into this beer. All right, oh, it's not bad actually. Uh, the breadiness, uh, it's dank in the back. It's smooth. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. Ooh, Ooh. chicken nuggets. Go on. Now it just became a food review too. Mmm. Mmm. Not good. Dortmund and Action Brewery. Um, German beer. 260. 
Ooh, that was a good chicken nugget. You know, to be honest, this is very good for a German beer. Now, this is like a mackerel. They brew this to get it out there. That's why it's filtered, this or that. Um, but the smoothness, the breadiness, um, it actually is a nice lager for 7% alcohol. Hmm. Wow. I didn't, and you know what? The thing is with this, it's so light. You don't think it's 7%. You don't taste 7% on this. It's so light. And this is my first beer, and it's what? 12.35. All right. I got up. I cleaned. I did dishes. I uh, cleaned the kitchen. I, I just cleaned. Now I got to sweep. But first beer, 7%. And being a first beer, it is smooth enough where... Excuse me. If you were out on a deck on a hot summer day, I'm going to buy more of these because that's damn chuggable. And I'm not saying I, I want to chug beers all the time. But my next chug beer video should be on the dab dormant, uh, this one right here, this green can. Why? Because that's a chuggable beer and I want to see if I can chug this one. But that's for another day. Um, it's, it's good. It's good. And like I said yesterday, I gave a, a Mickey's. A seven five, because that was that's a good solid lager that I would buy again, and I would buy this again. To be honest, I think that's the best uh, German beer I ever had, and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this, and I'm going to be buying another another couple at two sixty. I'm going to be buying a couple of these, putting them in the fridge just for social drinking. It's, uh, it's, uh, that's really good. Like, I'm already, already quartered on the can, and I just want more. 7.6, guys. It's a well-balanced macro beer. 7.6. This is a very good German beer. Um, like I said, this is not craft. But there's some craft out there that is worse than this. And cost me almost twice as much. Or, or say a dollar eighty more. Try something different, guys. Go to a liquor store or beer store, and you find a, a dab. Try a dab. Expand your horizon into the future. Expand your, you know, palate. Try this, guys. I'm telling you, um, well worth it. I, I'm, you know, this weekend I'm picking up four of them, and it cost me eleven dollars or ten forty. Put them in the back of the fridge so I could just enjoy the German beer. This is probably one of my favorite now. I really enjoy this. Like, comment, and subscribe. I have two more beers today for you guys. Only do only have three beers today. And uh, two are in the fridge uh, for you guys. Uh, one I'm a little worried about because it's a it's a it's a porter. Where I am iffy on porters. So yeah, we'll go from there. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, try something different. I know you guys in the States, like Brian the Beer Snob, you can get this down there. And if you haven't had this, Brian, get this down there, buddy. Try this. You won't be disappointed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.